So today my message for you guys is this. Do not let a woman not liking you completely destroy your life. Those of you that have been longtime followers of my content know that I have quite the origin story of how I started giving dating advice. Uh, the short version for you new people is that uh, in college I was a bad dater, I took a semester off, and in the process of that semester I learned the ins and outs of attraction and how you know dating works and what women want and better understanding them and what they need. And I went back to school, I ended up getting a crush on a longtime female friend of mine, and I crushed her for about like three months or so, and she was liking me too. And so I made moves that unfortunately did not allow us to go further because I had a chance to, you know, really make some moves physically, and I did not take them. She went back to her ex-boyfriend, and I got devastated. I got depressed, and I ended up flunking out of my first senior year of college, which meant I had to go back a second senior year in order to finish up, right? And so I've told you guys that story plenty of times. And so this past weekend was my 20th anniversary of the year that I was supposed to graduate. And so that meant that everybody that was in the class that I was supposed to graduate with was gonna be on campus this year. And so I decided to go because that's the class I came in with and those are the majority of people that I know and some of them I had not seen in a long time, including the infamous woman that I crushed on and ended up getting depressed about when she stopped liking me. And it's interesting, uh, the perspective that time gives you, because, you know, we, we had, you know, after she graduated, I saw her maybe like a year or two afterwards, she had moved upstate and I went to go see her just to visit because I was in town. And so at that point, you know, she had already moved on to somebody else. Well, I think at that time she was, she was single and I was potentially still single. But at that point, like I'd gotten over the whole her not liking me thing and we were just kind of cool and whatever. But I had not seen her since like quite a many, many, many years, right? So fast forward to this weekend and I knew she was going to be there. And uh, we ended up running into each other and we said hi to each other. We gave each other hugs. We asked each other how we're doing, what we've been up to, etc. cetera. But I, I say this part of the story because there are no residual feelings whatsoever about this person that had such a huge impact on my life. Like had she not stopped liking me, I wouldn't have gotten depressed. I wouldn't have flunked out my first uh, senior year of college and I wouldn't have become a dating coach because that summer I decided to sit down and analyze all the things that I could consciously realize I had been doing wrong during, during, not just with her, but throughout the course of my college career and the course of me trying to get with women. And that's when I wrote my first book, No Girls For You, The Ultimate Guide to Losing the Woman of Your Dreams, which by the way, you can get inside my Get Girls Academy as part of that package. So anyway, so yeah, so I wrote that book, I sold some copies, and then I started making videos, and then I ended up doing what I do now, 20 years later, still giving advice to you guys, right? But I, I bring this story up because this is, with the, you guys that maybe are in the thick of it right now with women that you have a high attraction to aren't quite understanding. Because you could be attracted to a woman that right now isn't showing you all the like that you want, or maybe you guys went out for a little bit and then she decided she doesn't want you anymore, or you've been her best friend this whole time and maybe you you know accidentally told her that you have a crush on her and she responded back by, being weird around you and ghosting you and not wanting to see you anymore. Or maybe you've been in a long-term relationship. You know, you dated somebody for three or four years and then they just, you know, they cheated on you or they lost interest or they just ghosted all together and you're sitting there like devastated. Like it's the worst thing ever. And I get it because our egos are designed to, to make us feel as though we are the absolute best option for any woman. So why would any woman want to mistreat us or tell us that they don't wanna date us or not even be attracted to us in the first place, right? And so when we, when we feel that, when women come to us or they get away from us or they pull away from us, our initial reaction is just shock and disbelief followed by it can be anger, it can be disappointment, it could be just sadness. And if you're, if you're not careful, you could take this one incident with this one girl and carry this throughout your entire life. 
and you could call it could cause you to lose jobs. It could cause you to completely hate women altogether because they're the crazy ones and they just want bad guys. And every Chad and Tyrone gets to date them and banging them, and I don't get to do it. And you can get a bitterness about life and about women all because a girl says she doesn't like you. And having the 20 plus year perspective now, the woman that is you're so highly interested in right now that you're just like, this is my end all be all, I have to make it work with her or else my life's gonna be destroyed and I don't know what I'm gonna do without this person. You will not be thinking about them in 20 years. You will not probably have the height level of feeling you have for them. Heck, even girls that you end up getting with, what, what, that honeymoon phase only lasts a certain amount of time. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get into a routine with this person and then th you'll still have a level of like for them, but it's not gonna be as heightened. But the point is, whether it's somebody you're with long-term or somebody that you're crushing on heavily in 10, shoot, five, 10, 15, 20 years, if they're not with you, you're probably not gonna be thinking about them. If they're not with you, you the, the level of feeling that you had for them is not gonna be there because you'll probably be crushing on somebody else who, again, if it works out or not, will not be as at a, as, the, as at a heightened of a level as it is right now, right? And so this is the perspective I want you to have, that whatever woman you're trying to get with right now, if she's not giving you the attention, if she's not giving you the like back, if she's not trying to go on dates with you, if she's giving you the let's just be friends speech, you're gonna be devastated, you're gonna be hurt, and I want you to feel those emotions, but I don't want you to lose the perspective that in the grand scheme of things, this is just one person that you were hoping it would work out with and it didn't. And if you, it doesn't work out with her, I can assure you, having, having gone through this 20 years now, from again, from this girl that I thought was gonna be my end all be all and that I have to make this work and something's wrong with me, to being able to like see her this weekend and be like, oh, nothing, just no, no feeling, no feelings at all, just nothing. Like you will get over it with time. All right, and if this woman doesn't want to date you, she's missing out, or it could be that she's not missing out because realistically you have some growth to do. Like back then, I wasn't ready for that. Like in hindsight, I still was having a hard time approaching women. I was still having a hard time making moves. I was having a hard time being the guy and trying to lead women into hookup situations because I was still in the, in the thought of like, but I don't want her to think that I'm just about hookups. And the reality is I had girls crushing on me in college that wanted the hookup and I missed out. But again, a lot of those girls now, I don't see them, I don't think about them. And so that's the perspective I need you to have, that while it's a big deal to you right now, in the, in the long-term grand scheme of your life, you obsessing over this one woman not liking you is not worth it. And it's definitely not worth destroying your life for. I was fortunate because I was able to take that lesson and turn it into something that I could use to help other people and also make a living at. But that's but that's because I had the perspective of like, wait, I, I finally woke up, like the day I didn't graduate, I woke up like, oh crap, like I let myself being depressed about a girl like cause me to not graduate? How stupid is that? And I had to start learning, okay, you need better tools to be able to get over women a lot quicker because you can't have a woman that doesn't like you holding you back from whatever your destiny is gonna be, you know? And so I was able to turn that into gold, but you may not have that skill set yet. You may be, think like, man, if this girl doesn't like me, then it means no girls like me and I'm completely stupid and dumb, and you're not. You just, you just need to learn a few lessons about how women function, how they operate, what they need from their mate, what they're actually looking for versus what they say they're looking for, and then from there, going on and figuring out what to do in order to get the women that you want. And that's why I've created a whole program called the Get Girls Academy, which you can check out at harrywomanton.com. It houses all of my best courses that teaches you how to do online dating, how to approach women, how to go from dating a woman to getting into a relationship within the span of three months. We talk about things like how to better communicate with women, the kind of things they want in the bedroom, what women are really thinking, what they're saying when they say certain things, and there's also a whole lot of other programs. There's like hundreds of hours of content that is at the website, including some of my old podcasts, but you also get programs in there that'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on what to do, how to approach, what to say, what to act, what to do next, and all those things that you may not know. Because once you know those things, then you'll be the kind of guy that knows, hey, if this woman doesn't work out, I already know the next steps to get the next one, and that's a great place to live in. Because once you know what you're doing, then you'll never, you'll no longer have this need for having to make this one person work. Like you're gonna show up as your authentic self, 
You're gonna have some things in your pocket that you're gonna do that, that help the attraction process. And if it doesn't work with her, you'll know, hey, she's probably a nut job and I still have the skills to get somebody else, you know? But yeah, just, just go forth knowing that if this woman doesn't like you, trust me, in the, in the grand scheme of things, it will work out. And if you're not overly depressed and instead you learn, okay, you know what, at the end of the day, she can choose who she wants to choose. If it's not me, yeah, that sucks, but then I can also choose somebody else that I wanna get with, then you're gonna find life to be a lot easier and you're gonna find your bitterness towards women just kinda of like going away. Like at the time that I flunked out my first year, senior year, I was still very bitter about women. And I had to learn, you know what? Women are gonna be how they are. The question is, what can I do on my end of things to make sure that I get better results? And more importantly, that if I don't get the result I want, I don't take it personally, you know? And so that's the lesson that I want you guys to have for today. So hopefully this helps you out. By the way, guys, uh, my site is now harrywilmington.com. Yes, you can still type in introvert dating success, but I'm, I'm focusing more on men at, at large because I found that a lot of my content actually helps out a wide variety of men. And so I have lessons in my Get Girls Academy that's designed to help you, help the, whether it's the highbrow guy, whether it's a guy that is just starting out for the first time, I want all of you guys to be able to get the lessons that you need Need in order to succeed with women. And you can check out the Get Girls Academy at harrywilmington.com, as well as some of my other eBooks and my one-on-one -on -one coaching. But thank you guys for watching this video. I'm Harry Wilmington. Be sure to give this video a like and a subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. I'm out, peace. <music>